when we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. Woo! Ah, here we go. I got it! It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. Yeah. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. Anyone else that would have been like, no, that can't be. That can't be. It's just a normal tissue. But Himafumi? No. Oh boy, I finally get to use my my super rare hanky to clean off this blood. Oh no, my super rare hanky! And the mascot on the cloth is the same Hikibu. one that's on the digital camera, right? And whose digital camera was it? Kifumi's, of course. Well, I I was gonna say something, but I realized that if you don't talk to him, you wouldn't know the whole backstory with Pudgy Princess. The character was Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess, I think. I don't like how Owie got that right off the bat. <laughs> And I had a hard time figuring it to remember. <laughs> I highly doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I am an immense fan of Princess Piggles, and I will slam your face for saying that! I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. <laughs> Oh, that comment's great. Yeah, I always use that. He says as he wipes his nose with, like, a Barbie <laughs> tissue. Oh, I always get these sniffles around this time. A few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Then there's no question. It belonged to Hifumi. Hmm. Mm. So what you're saying is... What exactly? Uh. What I'm saying is... The blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. But who would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? True that. That's a good point. And it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. Mm. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? Okay. I'm sorry. I think I, I really do think I've got the puzzles pieces all together. I think um, Celeste was like, hey, listen, if you kill Taka, I'll give you the computer. He kills Taka, he probably moves the body himself, then... Uh, that's still kind of slippery. Or at least he got to the area where Celeste told him to meet him, and then wacko kablacko, I think she got him. But then, if he was just pretending to be dead... What was with all that blood? A fake. Well, I don't know if it's fake. The fridge in the nurse's office contains packs of blood for emergencies. Yep, yep. He probably used one of those. He figured if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot. <laughs> Let me out of my trailer! Ryan, calm down. You can't just go and threaten everybody who talks shit about your precious little angel. Even though he probably killed Taka and you love Taka too. Mmm, that'd be sad. And if Kifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Himafumi then. I got it! Oh it shit! Oh no! Hifumi, you killed the Macho Man! While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. Or he did it for Celeste. I'm not sure if he actually did the murder or not. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. 
and Ryan, but who cares about that fact? But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means, when Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. Well, now, we don't actually have proof of that. Uh, I mean, I think that's where it's going. <laughs> but we don't know just yet. But that means he took part in the murders. Mm. I, I just can't believe it. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? Yes, please. There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. I he smoked piece of shit. I really want to know what it is. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? What? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body. Oh, you mean the piece of paper? No, 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 no. Oh, frick. I want to see what it said. Ah, oh, nuts. I've got my health back and I ruined it. I just wanted to read the thing. But this is the read button. I got not the click button. You're talking it's about backwards. the notes Fumi had hidden away, aren't you? A uh, hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. <laughs> God, I mess up. What? In his pants? Mm. Yes, his pants. <laughs> okay, well, forget about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note says. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Oh, I forgot. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. Ah, that's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. Mm. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. Yeah, we already made that conclusion, Mako. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hero. And that person could only have been... <laughs> Fumi's pants! Oh god, Ryan, don't click it! It's Taka! It. Give me my health back! I need That's it! Right. Cause I'm, I'm an idiot. The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Hello! Over here! Objection! Objection! I don't really understand what's going on, but Hifumi had that letter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok, they were drawing out Huffy! What in God's name does that mean? Um, just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Hifumi, right? Oh, I see. I'm glad Aoi could figure it out. That's a jigsaw puzzle I couldn't put together. Oh, yes! Why must you ruin it every time? Sometimes I fantasize about taking her tongue with both hands and somehow finding a way to strangle it. Man, Giuseppe Jack is seriously scary, but still, I can't let her get to me. Oh boy, it's super dance time! God, I just feel like taking out my clothes every time this music plays. Oh, that's a lot of things. Broke his wish watch, Himafumi's glasses, uh, glasses cleaning cloth. Okay. Puppy had the note, right? Then the person it was intended for must have been Hubby! But remember what the note said. What time did it say to meet? 6 a.m., I believe. Mm-hmm. The time doesn't matter. Oh, the wristwatch. Ha 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 ha! I couldn't hit that worth the damn. I think I got it. Hopefully. We can only hope I got it. Matter. I hope it's the right. Has nothing to do with TikTok. Baboom! No, Yay! I get some health back! I need to get that back for the end boss. No, there absolutely is a connection. What? what the hell are you talking about? The note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was murdered. 
I feel like Toko just felt left out because no one was talking to her. She's like, I'm gonna bring something up so people will talk to me. We've already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. Oh, no! Himofumi, you did kill Taka! Oh! No! At least tell me Taka fought back like it was a scuffle. Like, I'm gonna give you such a boppin' for what you did to my computer, Sama. Oh, you gonna get it, fat boy. I'm gonna elbow your tummy so hard I'm gonna see vomit from three weeks ago. That's freaking gross. Bonk. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Hmm. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that. No further objections! <laughs> I can't I can't be the only one that's just at times just just wants to just get up and start punching her. <laughs> like at, at, at one point like she just says something and Makoto picks up Himafumi's sign just starts whacking her over and over again don't start anymore you freaking weirdo you make me uncomfortable a body discovery announcement so uh, even though everyone knows now nah, forget it then someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. <sighs> the culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. <laughs> I feel bad for you, Shiro. But at the same time, I'm shocked you, Shiro's still alive. <laughs> but if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Stuffed down his pants, no less! Most likely. Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Hmm. Huh? Where's your proof? Ah, ha, ha. Show us. We got a little knick-knack of paper, Bamba Ann. Boop. Oh, see, see, left click is to look at the information. Right click is to give it. It's backwards When me. I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is... I knew it. It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi. Why did it take him this long to actually put it together? Like, actually put it together. Then Taka's scrap. Yup. Oops. They're from the same piece of paper. Sorry how he took too long. Hifumi had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. There's only one way to explain it. Oh, so they were like tugging. They were tugging at the paper, and then, uh, something happened. Taka died clutching the note. Hifumi tried to free the note from its death grip, leaving behind only one small scrap. Do you think that, like, they were tugging at the paper, and then when it ripped, uh, Slessy clacked him over the head with the hammer? Did I get all that right? Listen, you're always right in my book. That means Hifumi knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah. After seeing all this, Hifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, Nishiro is kind of that character that I keep forgetting that I, I kind of love. <laughs> he's like, he's truly... Truly one of the dumbest characters I've ever been around, but he's he's so lovable. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he's still alive. <laughs> oh no, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, no. When we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The second body discovery announcement proves that. So then. Who killed Hifumi? Whoever did is the mastermind. The true killer. Who could have done such a thing? He was killed in the repository. So he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. So he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished. But before we found both bodies in the repository. Mm. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, 
None of us have alibis. Ooh, good point. Wait, but me and Sakura were together. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid walrus. <laughs> wait, wait, now? Now is when you use that insult? Not with that guy, you use it on her? He was a literal walrus. I'm pretty sure if you unbutton his shirt, is it would just be a walrus's body. Those little legs that don't make any damn sense, they weren't real legs. Who are you calling a walrus? Anyway, when they were killed bothers me too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. And what might that be? Hmm. The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon? Yeah, because I mean, according to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. Hmm, it's true. But Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? So if Hifumi was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, then put the hammer back where they found it. Shit, that's right. We didn't see any bloody hammers in there, did we? I mean, it was, like, the area where all the hammers were, but none of the hammers were, like, dripping blood. But, wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? I'm surprised. It seems there's some semblance of a brain knocking around that skull of yours after all. Hell yeah! It's packed in there good and tight. Don't brag about it, bud. <laughs> He's right, though. I don't understand it, either. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. Do you think Sakura can booty clap? <laughs> what is that about, Ryan? Well, I always thought to myself, well, booty clapping, you either have to have a really fat butt, like, you can just slosh around, like, two, two wet bags, or, or, like, I feel like with true muscle, she could be like, I'll be like, wowee! You just crushed an entire head. Ryan, what the hell are you talking about? It's hot, all right? It's hot in my room. It's still on my air conditioning. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Personally, I haven't a clue. So which hammer was used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? Oh, did we ever find number one again? Hmm. Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um, then, uh... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? Mm. I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? Oh, I really do think Himifumi didn't kill Taka. I think there was some shenanigans. So then, what was used to kill Hifumi? The weapon that was actually used to kill Hifumi. The whole picture surrounding this case won't become clear until we figure that out. Somehow, I have to find the truth. By dancing! Oh, frick yeah! Spotless hammer, dun 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 dun. I have a feeling it's gonna be it's something else. All right. What was used to kill Hifumi? Was it Justice Hammer 3? Maybe Justice Hammer 4? No. Well, whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Mm. Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about to make its appearance! Check out murdergear.com slash hammer time for more info! <laughs> Don't well, distract me. One thing seems pretty clear. The murder weapon had to be one of the Justice Hammers! And, uh, that's about it. I have no idea which one it is, and with two hearts, I'm a little worried. I'm just gonna go with the last one and give it a shot. Okay. We okay. I was a little worried there. I thought it was gonna be one of the other words. The weapon wasn't a justice hammer at all. No, it was something completely different. But seriously, a different weapon? Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill Hifumi. I feel like when the, you know how the hammers were missing in there? I feel like there should have been a clue where it's like, wait a minute, there's five hammers missing or something like that. Now, all 
All the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris. Oh, okay. But for some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Huh? And the reason it had been scrubbed clean was most likely because it was used to commit murder. Oh. If the hammer got covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. Oh, snap! I'd also like to point out that the repository has all kinds of hammers. Yeah. Big ones, small ones. You know, we all joke around about killing people with hammers, but we know who the real murderer is. He's in this room right here. Penguin man! He's trying from Compton, I'll kick your ass. And even some flat mallet-like ones. I think whoever made the justice hammers used those as a basis for their design. If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma files note about the wounds being similar. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository, where someone then used a hammer to kill him. And whoever did that is the true killer. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold on a moment. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. Why is that, Celeste? The way the graduation rule works, there is no benefit to helping someone else carry out a murder. Unless you were the killer and then you threatened them because you're a crazy lady. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is simply ludicrous. We talked about this, did we not? We did talk about how there wouldn't be any reason for anyone to work together. At least that's what we thought at first, but... Oh boy, here we go. Put down your drink, Ryan. We gotta figure out more cases. Spotless hammer. Well, I don't think it's that again. Hmm. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. No. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That doesn't that seem right. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Oh frick! So there's one murder, oh frick! Right? Ignore that. In this Sorry. Case, however, there were two murders. Okay, got it. The rule holds true. It is simply impossible that two. Ha ha ha! I did it! I figured it out. Since there were two murders, it's at least plausible that more than one person was involved. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really worth considering. Mm. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. Risk versus reward benefit? The payoff for working together. The reward that balances out the risk of taking part in the scheme. There's no point in being someone's accomplice if there's no benefit to you. No. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, then cooperation becomes possible. You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. Wow. Oh. I think that's what the true killer told Hifumi. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. Yeah, I got you. And based on the case's events, Hifumi would have been the first one to act, murdering Taka. They made him carry out the first murder so he couldn't back out of helping them later on. Oh, then was Yashiro the second person who was supposed to be murdered, or at least told? So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. And it only looked like one person because that's how the true killer designed it to look. Ah. A single suspicious individual a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies. By creating one seamless set of circumstances, they made it look like one person was behind it all. Oh my gosh, who could be so smart in putting this plan together? I think it was this poodle I found. <laughs> why, why is that? I was, I was going to the bathroom and I turned around and it was just staring at me. That's kind of creepy. Why is there a poodle in here? I absolutely have no idea. 
Someone please help me. This pool is gonna murder me. Call him all I know. <laughs> the mastermind picked their target and managed to convince him to go along with their plan. Please don't eat me! And then to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. Which, if true, means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very beginning. Oh yeah. But that's just awful. How could anyone be so cruel? You think so? I can't help but admire its cunning. Still, their choice of accomplice seems odd. The effort made to convince us the two murders were the same. That was the main characteristic this time. Kyoko must have noticed that fact from the very beginning. Which is why she said not to look at this as a series of connected events, but s entirely separate incidents. Kyoko really is amazing, although... When you think about it, she's almost too amazing. Like, it's almost unnatural how good she is at this. I understand how an accomplice could be involved. But then, who was the one pulling Hifumi's strings? That's problem numero uno right now! The true killer manipulated Himafumi to carry out a number of actions and in the end murdered him! In the debates up till now, the way the case has unfolded when you consider all that, there's really only one person who seems to fit. Am I gonna- oh. If I'm wrong, I quit the game. Here's my answer. It was Celeste. Oh, yeah, we're bringing it home! If it was really- no, really was Shishiro. Oh, shit, guys! You figured it out! Ah, uh, so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? Celeste, you've been so suspicious this entire case. <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. Oh. <laughs> the fact that it's not affecting you makes me believe it's you more just because of the personality you have. A joke? I wonder. Oh, 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 oh! I'm shaking with excitement. I'm shaking with excitement. Also, I very much look forward to that moment where Celeste snaps. So what you are saying then is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him. That I would go within 10 feet of that shit for brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Celeste, how? How did you win poker? Like, I f <laughs> Uh, Celeste, uh, would you like to show your hands? No, I don't, you shit for brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Oh, all right, ladies, just take the money. Just take the money. Uh, 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 pardon moi Oh my gosh, not just that, her accent went away when she was mad. Oh, 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 oh. don't make me have to do her voice, by the way. <laughs> like, even, like, if you give the voice back to me when she's angry, it's still gonna be foreign, because that's, I, I don't have any more voices, okay? Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Well, the fact that you snapped kind of was evidence in itself. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. What it is that Himafumi and Slessy had in common. Encountering the suspicious, the screaming, the hidden... Oh god, I don't actually know the answer to this. I think the screaming. Shoot! Ah, oh, frick! No! Heart! Suspicious individual? I got it! Huh. Alright. The right. behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? Oh! Okay, yeah, I, I get where they're going with this. The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Hifumi. <laughs> Shush, the adults are talking now. <laughs> what? what? Bargum, what are you what are you doing, bud? You literally, literally just you just be giving me sass for no reason? He's just like 
I think he's realizing how much I like him. I better give him some serious. Sorry. As he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Mm. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? I know, shocker, huh, Owie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? A bunch of bullshit. I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. <laughs> I legitimately want to spit coffee everywhere. It's because I, I, I sipped and I looked up and Celeste's face was just staring there. <laughs> Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, she let out a blood curdling scream. I don't know it was blood curdling. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him! The strange costume man! Why did you do your voice differently? He said he ran off as soon as I, as I screamed. I was blocking his stairs, so he was headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. Hey, what was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been him and Fumi. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go with. It was to get us to divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Mm-hmm. Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you can't come with me to the next office. We're gonna kiss each other. <laughs> don't add more to the story, you're ruining it. Sorry. I'll hear the capture of the suspect of individual, the Toko Bakugan, the cool guy, and Sakura. Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. Yup, yup. Oh, 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 come on, come on, snap. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. It was really bad. <laughs> that was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? <gasps> no. Oh, frick. Oh, man. My sweet little angel has been corrupted by this succubus. It was your way of telling him, we are on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. Oh, my gosh. I know what I should do. At the end, if Bakun dies, I'm gonna read a fanfic of Bakun and Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> with the voice! Oh, Ryan, you have just come up with the greatest idea ever. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Himafumi would be murdered. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. Oh. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. Hmm. I, I don't believe it. Everything, the whole thing was one big act. Yep. I mean, I've been kind of saying that. So, I. When did I say it? I don't know. Like as soon as she was laying on the ground with like a tiny smudge on her cheek, like. Oh, I got beat up by Moose. But in reality, the only one beating her up was. Monokuma's big money stacks. Hina, 
you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Yeah, how did she pull that off? I, I imagine that's a big hole in her plan. Wait. Then that was... Yup, when he got out. She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Mmm, and normally I bet you would have had uh, Aoi just go with the group. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. <laughs> Cause I think Celeste is a gross whore. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> You're so full of shit! But hey, I like your gumption. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Ooh. Oh, did I? I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but... I mean, in the fact you just said, oh, did I? That's kind of suspicious in itself. Looking back, I can say that that one little slip-up was your undoing. What are you talking about? Celeste, I'm gonna be honest. Leon was less suspicious than you in this case. Since the beginning of, like, this trial, you have been so defensive and so blunt that it was so obvious. I'm honestly saying she's worse than stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> That's how bad this case was. <laughs> I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all gonna die here. We're gonna die just like those guys die. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Yeah, I'm curious what you're coming up with here, Bakuran. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. I find it weird that all of a sudden Bakugan's just taking over the case, have you noticed? Like, I, I mean, I'm not complaining because now I literally have to do zero of the work. Just Bakugan's doing the game for me. This is great. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Oh! Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Oh! Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. She spilled the beans too early. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? <laughs> Bakugan said that Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. But is, what is he alluding to? Oh, he's alluding to the fact that she knew that both of them were dead. When they shouldn't have. Monokuma file. I hope that's the case. <laughs> Cause I got two hearts. All I said was, they must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. I bet you we gotta take that us. We are going to die here. We are going to die. Just like those guys died. And okay, we gotta take said. us or all. I'm not and sure which it wants. All it takes to finish this. It's obvious. How to do the? What that's was it. so strange about Celeste's comment? Okay, I think I got this one. To die here. We are going to die, just like those guys died. Oops, <laughs> that's bad news. Oh, this is embarrassing. Don't don't mind me. I ain't doing nothing. Uh, just like those guys died. Oh, this is embarrassing. Hey guys, it seems I'm dead. Hold on, I'll be right back. Die here. We are going to die. Wh why? Like why did that bounce off? That side of us standing around what? I, I'm so confused here. I love how no matter where in the thing, it's just like, oh, Makoto did it. Good job, bud. All right, I'm back and I'm very confused. I have no idea what it wants me to do. I died again. I'm honest. I. I well, I guess I'm just gonna keep clicking it till I figure this one out because I honestly have zero idea 
what the game's alluding to. I freaking hate this. Oh my gosh, I've tried like every combination and I have no idea what the All fuck it wants. Was... Oops. Ignore that. That's what it was! Oh my gosh, that was so freaking stupid. That's right. There's no reason Celeste should have said, just like those guys die. Oh, I freaking hate this mechanic so much. You have no idea how much I hate this mechanic where you have to take the words and shoot it at them because it confuses me so bad. Oh, I really hate it. I hate it with a burning passion. Because it's so vague all the time. Like, if there was some sort of clue or something, but there's not. It's just like, hey, here's a bunch of random words. You gotta put them together and maybe you'll figure it out, but probably not because we make it as vague as possible. When she said that, none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. Anyways, well, I'm taking a break, guys. That, that freaking puzzle drained me of the want to play anymore. I, I would rather it have, like, all the questions in your bullet, like, boom, 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 and have, like, multiple questions, and you have to figure out, like, you have to try to piece those together instead of having every single word have a chance to connect with the other. It's so fucking confusing. And it also makes me overthink every freaking question because I'm like, oh, they give me an answer, but I have no idea if this is the actual answer or if they want. Even I knew. I even said what the answer was. Oh, oh. Mm. All right. I'm, I'm going. I'll see you guys later.